back the hidden codes of this holiday of Purim. It's more than just a story of Queen Esther and the evil Haman. It's a cosmic window where we can transcend doubt and find joy and certainty in these uncertain times. Just by waking up our brain. Joining us live via Skype is Kabbalah teacher and Dom Healer and my girl, Sarah Ozer Yardeni. Hello. Happy Purim. Happy Purim, Emily. How are you? You look so pretty. You look like Queen Esther. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about like the interesting I, hidden message behind Queen Esther and uh, the Scroll of Esther, known as the Megillat Esther. Yes. So when we first the name, the name, the Scroll of Esther, also is connected to. Um, if you change the words, you know, in Kabbalah, you always change the words. There is numerology, num numerology, num numerological. Um, <laughs> Uh, values to everything. So you, ca you can see that in the scroll of Esther, you have Gilui Esther, which is revealing the concealed. So we're not only reading about an ancient story, but we're actually revealing and concealed. And <clears throat> if you look at the text of the, of the story, you can see many different sequences of letters that are actually helping us to shift our consciousness. Um, if you can show, uh, if we have 72 names of God combination to heal ourselves, to create certainty, to uh, boost our immune system, our self-esteem. So there's a lot hidden in Esther. The word Esther is coming also from concealment. So we're basically going through a major, major transformation in the holiday of Purim. So it's interesting when you see these kind of hidden, you know, letters within the Megillah and Esther, it's more than just, you know, reading it. It's actually metaphysical information that helped also the miracle of, uh, of uh, you know, the Queen Esther and Haman. There is, um, well, there is an energy opening. There is a cosmic opening in the time that we're in right now, in the holiday of Purim, to shift our consciousness. And what we see, what you see, is a tool to connect to that energy to shift our consciousness. And let's talk, I mean, a lot of it has to do with doubt. You know, doubt is a big, big word and something we all live with. So that's the key, using this uh, technology to get rid of doubt and actually have certainty that everything is, you know, unfolding as it is that we don't really have you know a say always and except for you know spiritual you know uh, elevation <laughs> well uh, the gift of this holiday is the removal of doubt and the transition from a state of doubt to certainty and certainty is that you know that everything everything and every a moment and everybody is actually part of a divine plan it's everything is designed and encoded at the at creation Yes, and it's all for the best. So when we are stepping into any experience in our life, knowing that it's divinely designed, divinely timed for my best interest, and I can just show up as my best self, also the results and the experience would be great. But if we're doubting it, a life could be pretty miserable, actually. Now, it's so interesting. So it's so interesting because you're also, you know, you, you're a Dom master healer and you've taken in so many different modalities, East and West, and you know, you've studied so much about the brain. So why is the brain, you know, so kind of essential in changing, you know, the rest of our, you know, body, spiritual, emotional, and whatnot? So first I want you to know that, like, our minds, our bodies, and our environments are inseparable. The just practicing something on a spiritual level um, is not going to make it. We need to learn how to bring it, to do it, first of all, the spiritual action in a conscious way and using our brain in a, focus, in our brain in a focused way and then bring it to our body for best results of ever, any practice. So I want to show you something about certainty. Would you like to know your level of certainty? In just I like would. I would. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Um, if you could stand up. Could I'm going to stand, stand up? up. I've been practicing okay. this. <laughs> I'm going to move the All chair. Right. Okay. 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 So just have place your hand in front of your chest and stand up straight and lift up, bend your left knee and lift up your leg up. Okay. And just see how I'm you doing feel. it. You're doing it. Just focus on yourself and see how you feel, how stable you are. I feel pretty strong. My leg's a little wobbly, but I'm able to kind of uh, adjust. Okay, wonderful. So bring your foot down, Phew. take a deep breath, refresh. Uh, now, now, 
Again, hands in front of your chest. Do the same thing. And now close your eyes. <laughs> okay, so okay. what's the point of this? So what's the point of this? The point of this is to see how stable you are within yourself without your eyes uh, receiving outside information or validation to make you feel confident and certain. And the more we have internal compass, our own centeredness within ourselves, our own knowing, um, the more we have it, the more certain we are, the more re relying we have on the outside. Sarah, we're out of time. But when I put it on Facebook, I'm going to put all of the tools and all the brain exercises. Hag Sameach.